So I got here the uh, Note 7 before you. Now, this is the situation for some. Now, if I go into the lock screen, I want to get into the phone. It, you might have an iris or you might have a pin code set up. Unfortunately, sometimes you might have forgotten your pin code. Uh, that could be an issue because you can't gain access to your phone, nor can you get back into the settings to change this password. Now, if, of course, all other solutions fail and you've tried everything to figure out your password and get back into the phone and it still won't let you, then there is a way around it. This is the last resort and it is a way to pretty much factory data reset. It's to wipe everything off of your phone other than your SD card. So you will be having, you will end up with a brand new device in your hands. I'm going to quickly show you how to do that. So the three buttons that is key to this solution is to hold the power button, the home button, and the volume up rocker button right there. Now, these three buttons are the key to getting your phone into recovery mode, from which is a very simple step to do a, well, a data wipe. Uh, so I'll be quickly showing you how. The first step is to quickly hold your power button if your phone is turned on, and we're going to turn, uh, power down your device. This should not take too long. Now, the phone is currently powered down, so again, we're going to hold your volume up, the power button, and your home button. So these three buttons will be pressed simultaneously to turn on your device. Now remember to let go of your volume up and home button uh, rather quickly as soon as your phone vibrates. So let's go one, two, three. So the phone vibrated, so I let go of the volume up and home button. Okay, now that the blue screen is on, I will let go of the power button and simply let the phone do its thing. We are going to see the installing system update on your phone, but not to worry, it is, it's nothing. It's not, it's not actually installing any updates on your phone. The next screen we will see is an Android that seems to have fainted, oh no, an exclamation mark. The phone is uh, not broken. So not, do not be alarmed. We're just going to give it a little bit of time. Great, now we are now in the recovery screen. This is what it looks like. So I'm just going to quickly zoom in here. All right, so this is the recovery data screen. Uh, to navigate this screen, we're going to hit the volume up or volume down to go up and down up and down. Now there are two options here that is within our interest. The first is to wipe your cache partition. This helps for any situations to prevent boot loops on your phone. Uh, if you do end up with a boot loop which is basically uh, your phone looping, uh, turning on and off, on and off whenever you try to turn it on, this should help in those cases. Uh, to confirm your selection, hit your power button here in order to, well, uh, make your selection. So we're going to wipe the cache partition first. So hit the power button, volume down to yes, power button to yes. Boom, that is rather quick. It should say here, cache wipe completed. Now we're going to go down to the grand finale called white data factory reset. So highlight it, power button to select, Volume down to yes, power button to make your selection. Basically, we will see a bunch of text until this shows up. Data wipe complete. Uh, once this is completed, you will be taken back to the recovery screen where uh, you just simply need to highlight the reboot system now. Power button to select and your phone will reboot. Now. The phone reboot sequence could take a little bit of time, uh, so please bear with me. But I will stand by you guys here uh, just to show you what it should look like on the Note 7. Okay, so we see the Samsung logo coming up. And again, do not be alarmed as this could be a lengthy process for your device. 
there will be a lot of loading. The important thing of this process again as a reminder is that it will remove all security features that you have set up on your device which includes the power uh, sorry the pin number the swipe the security features that you set up uh, that you m might have forgotten and uh, regardless of how many times you've tried and no matter what kinds of solutions you have attempted it will simply not allow you to get back into your phone to use it uh, and this is the step um, to take. So the next thing we should see is installing applications. From what we've experienced, this could take a little bit of time. So this video should show you about the approximate amount of time, the length of time that it should take. All right, the phone actually vibrated in my hands, and as you can see, uh, the capacitive, capacitative lights have come back on. All right, so we see the first application being loaded, which is the Samsung Switch, and voila, we are now on the welcome page. Uh, you might be familiar with this page. This is the page uh, or the screen on your phone that, well, you are presented with when you first turn on your phone, when you first purchased your device, or whenever you do a factory data reset. So this is it, guys. This is, uh, you are on your own from this point forward. You should be familiar with what to do. We hope this video helped in, uh, for any one of you guys out there that might have had trouble getting back into your phone because of a forgotten PIN number or a, s a swiping pattern unlock uh, or any other security measures that malfunctions or goes wrong. Um, this is the way to go. Now, one last warning, if you did set up a Samsung account and uh, enabled uh, a certain feature, security feature, as, such as Find My Mobile, you may not be able to follow this instruction. In those cases, uh, you may have to follow other instructions, but uh, this is the most basic of um, instructions to follow in terms of uh, well, main passwords and uh, security issues that you might have run into. We hope that uh, this video helped you guys. Um, we hope to see you again into the future. Thank you for watching.